So for a number of years, the Hudson has always donated to charities and supported the community. And over time, we just started thinking, what else can we do? Mm -hmm. And um, we realized there's not a lot of support for our industry in terms of a bursary. So we decided to start our own charity and support local students who want to pursue cosmetology as a career. So um, one of the things we're doing is giving a bursary to a local high school student. So upon graduation, they'll um, submit an essay to us as to why they're pursuing the career and what, what why they're interested in it and uh, we will choose at least one student to receive hopefully a thousand dollar bursary. Store manager Tammy Hunt says to raise these funds they'll be holding an event on August 22nd at Rivermill Park for the entire community to check out. We're so excited to have Canvas on board so they're going to be setting up um, a beer tent, they're going to be serving wine, other um, and other drinks. Uh, Tim Hortons will be there. They're going to be doing coffee and some little bites, which would be really, really great. Um, we're also going to be having a lot of silent auction items. So um, it's going to be a large variety of things. So we just want people to come out, have a good time. We're also going to be selling product. And it's the way for us also to give back to our clients because we will be selling our product at a good deep discount for them as well. And it also gives me the opportunity, our uh, clients, just to try Try different products. We'll also be doing consultations. Um, there will be a small fee for our consultations where normally every day you come in to hear whether it be in our salon or spa and consultations are absolutely free mm -hmm. but just because the event and we are trying to raise as much donations as possible there will be a small fee. Meet and greet our girls, sit down um, and they can answer any questions if anybody has any um, any ideas of what they're wanting to do with their hair or questions about styling products, shampoo, conditioner, our girls will be there to help them out as well. Donaldson says this is a wide ranging industry that can lead to becoming a stylist, but there's also so much more opportunity. I think people just see us standing behind the chair doing hair, but there's so much you can do. There's so many um, so many different avenues within it. You can be a hairstylist behind the chair, but you can also pursue other means in terms of getting into education and whether it be a color expert, a styling expert, or even like myself, I've become a training director, which I like giving back the knowledge that I've received. So there's a lot you can do within it.